performance is definitely better. It's still far from perfect, but you know what? It's kind of getting there. This at least is a semi-playable. Now, this isn't the only thing going on this week with KSP2, Siams, Heating and Reentry, Patch 3, and Performance Upgrades. There's many things to talk about this week and a whole lot going on with KSP2. Oh, and let's not forget some drama surrounding the latest Sowl. Now, perhaps the two most interesting pieces of information that people are going to want to know is to do with performance improvements that have come from a Patch 3. And yes, they are there. Not significant, but there's definitely some as well as some information on the science. This one is unfortunately a pretty slim update and not quite what I'd imagine most people want to know. But it's good information in so far that it does let us know that uh, Intercept Games are still focusing on this. So it comes that science is going to be patch 0.2. Said here, this is going to be the first of the headline updates, first of the roadmap headline updates. It will add science, missions, and a research and development center. All of this, unfortunately, is still, as we can see here, several months away. Now, unfortunately, I kind of expected this to come out a little bit early on. I was expecting maybe two or three months after release, but here we are, or releasing to early access, but here we are now, what, four months, four and a half months since early access released, and it's still several months away. So it's looking like at this point, quite possibly towards the fourth quarter, maybe even towards the end of the year. I guess we'll have to see. At any rate, they say a lot of work is going into the Dot 2 update, uh, deep architecture work, bug fixing and new systems, and a lot of content to go with that. They're going to continue to release incremental updates until then, so the next one will be Patch 4. Uh, the goal is going to be eliminating that major gamer-breaking bugs prior to uh, the version 0.2 update. Now, patch 3 released just last week, so that's the third patch since the game went into early access. Patch 4 is somewhere on the horizon. Now, there's no details of what to expect from that just yet, other than it will contain bug fixes and performance fixes. And talking of performance fixes, here's some clip that I filmed a bit early on. Here is two launches, and we can see that, yes, performance has indeed improved. Now, it's by no means substantial, it's still nowhere near, I would like to see it. Um, we can see that at the default resting screen here in the VAB. I'm at around about 140 to 160 frames per second. This is on an RTX 4090 with the Ryzen 7 5800X. Um, we're running at a resolution here of 2560 by 1440p with all the graphics settings set higher. Now I've noticed it doesn't matter even if you set those graphics settings down low, it doesn't really change the impact we have on frame rates. Now we've got some high frame rates here, but as we drop a, a rocket build into a ship build from KSP Builds, we're just going to paste this in. You can see immediately the impact this has. Now as we move on to the launch, this is where there definitely is a really nice improvement. Previously, as we started up those engines there, fired the engines and got off the launch pad, the frame rates here would be so poor that you could literally measure them in seconds, one frame every four or five seconds or so. Frame rate here, again, isn't perfect. We're sitting at around 20 frames per second. Again, keeping in mind the PC I've got here, it doesn't really seem that hardware is a help. As you can see, the uh, graphics card is the GPU is running at a very low percentage here. It's got a very low power draw and not much of the CPU is being used either. So there's uh, some bottleneck going on somewhere here, quite possibly in the code or that may be on the CPU I guess but I think this is definitely one of those code issues at any rate let's move out to another rocket this is the Saturn V um, not quite as complex rocket as we were using just now but still pretty complex and you can see this also works pretty good we do drop down to around about 20 frames a second again but really ultimately I think this is quite playable compared to what we've had previously where Things were measured in five frames a second or less. Here I can get all the way up into orbit with not so much as a hitch. A little bit of a pause here on staging. Um, fingers crossed here that things weren't going to go bad. But ultimately the staging, the separation here did pay off and we got further up into orbit. Actually I made it all the way into orbit with no problem whatsoever. So yes, ultimately a patch three is a big, big improvement, at least in terms of performance, over what we saw 
in the previous update. So if you haven't played for a while, definitely worth jumping in and trying this out. Now going back to upcoming content, we've got re-entry and heating. This is something people have been asking for for weeks now, months in fact. Um, where are they? Well, Intercept Games say that they are working hard on both. We expect re-entry VFX to arrive earlier than thermal systems and reheat related, or heat rather, related part destruction. So there may be a short phase during which re-entering vehicles uh, look like they're being heated, but really they aren't. We don't want to reverse any of our recent frame rate gains, and as we've seen, there are some good frame rate gains there. So yep, yeah, I'm glad they're not going to do anything to potentially damage that. So they're going to be taking the time needed to make sure re-entry is both awesome looking and performant. To give you better visibility into the work taking place in this area, we'll be, we will be posting a new dev blog about the heat system soon. So I'm looking forward to that. Now the last piece of information is KSP2 is on sale. It's down to £36 from the original price of £45. Now, in my opinion, £36 is still way too high for the current state of uh, the game. It's also way too high for an early access title in this condition. I mean, personally, I would consider KSP2, just my opinion, I would consider KSP2 a pre-early access title just purely based on the state of it. I don't think uh, it's really up to task of where ideally should be. But that said, the sound has caused a bit of drama, in some cases understandably so. I mean, it's been four months since the uh, title released, and some people feel that this sound is a little bit too soon, especially considering a lot of people apparently did uh, go out and refund the game and can now buy it at a lower price, whilst other people who stuck with it feel as though, well, they've kind of been lit down in terms of prices. Now, personally speaking, in my own opinion here, uh, like I say, I do feel the price is too high. But in terms of uh, missing out on the sale, you know, suck it up. This happens. Games go on sale all the time. Um, a game going into sale four months after release, I don't think is too much of an issue. Uh, four months after early access release is too much of an issue. It seems a little bit on the early side, but, you know, these do happen. It's not unprecedented by any means. And for those people who follow early access titles on Steam, you'll notice that this happens pretty frequently. Oh, one other thing actually, I did want to have a very quick look at Steam charts, and uh, you can see that on the screen right here, that where patch three come out, you can see there's quite a jump in player numbers. Now these aren't uh, significant player numbers, you can see, but they are up a lot from where they were previously. Uh, back here, we were down to just 200 players. That's uh, not good, is it? And that patch did kind of buff that up just a little bit. But whether or not the patch is going to get people to stick around, we'll have to see. I suspect probably not. Plan numbers will dwindle off again until we see patch four. I suspect the real big influx of players returning and sticking around for KSP2 is going to happen with the science update. Maybe a few months away for that. At any rate, and that brings us to the end of this video. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys and girls next time.